It is uh, Tuesday, March the 28th. We're almost through the first quarter of the year. We got a lot to talk about tonight. Yes. Or today. Uh, we're going to talk about why we're all upset. We're quite angry around here. Uh, another school shooting took place. We've been talking about this superbug. I think it's getting worse. <laughs> it's spreading all across the country. China and Russia, we talk about them all the time. We're going to talk about bricks, and we're not talking about the ones you build a house with. So stick around. Hey, and welcome to the patio. Fortenberry is in studio, and then I got a surprise for y'all. Um, Fortenberry's in studio. How are you doing, Father Fortenberry? I'm making it. I'm making it. I had a little bit of a rough weekend. Uh, I imbibed a little too much, but I, I survived, and here I am on the studio or on the patio. You vibed and survived. I vibed and survived. How was your crawfish? I know you had some crawfish. Uh, crawfish was excellent, actually. Uh, that that got my legs back on me on Saturday, and I was able to drink some more of it. That sounds good. It was, it was I good. had some of the best That's crawfish I've probably good. ever had Saturday night. Um, let's go here. And we have Donnie D.W. back in studio. He has back. been gone for a minute, mm-hmm. for a hot minute. He has been circumnavigating the world, a little jet lagged. How are you, D.W.? I've been circum- circumcising the world. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might not be that hard where you the <laughs> part of the country yeah. you came from. That's right. Yeah. I don't know. I'm good, man. Happy to be back. How long a flight was that? Y'all smell that? Too long. That's, that's freedom. Freedom. Smell the freedom. Too long. How long? How long was that flight? Uh, that curious. one's that one's only about twelve and a half hours. That's twelve and a half, 12 and a half hours in a plane, though. Yeah. My granted, it's bigger than what. When I went to South Africa, that one was uh, fifteen. Yeah, that that that's, that's a lot. That's imagine a lot. imagine a ship floating across that thing. Taking weeks. Like, yeah, take there's probably still time. slaves coming over. They just ain't made it here yet. So look, I, I don't can't even hit one, one, one. But I'm mean, so terrible. I don't want to see a. I don't want to see a piece of curry chicken for. I don't at least it. a year. I really. I'm surprised curry's that big over there. Man, it's it, It's in every like. I don't know what spice. I thought they'd be eating, but I didn't think curry. I would. I guess that that makes sense that it's curry, but yeah, I didn't think so either. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm mad as hell tonight. We got another school shooting. Yep. We got three kids dead, three teachers. This time it is a woman of all damn things. I know that just really goes completely against the narrative. A 28 year old woman that um, goes by, well, I don't think it's been proven, but uh, they claim she goes by the pronouns he, she, he, him. So it's a transgender woman. Well, I don't woman think it's been proven. I think man. Jamie found that on the, the outer webs or the interwebs. I, or it's the it's all over webs. her profile stuff. Well, it's all over her profile stuff. But that don't mean it's correct. Actually, I just found it right here. It does say trans female, former student, 28, armed with two assault rifles and a handgun, kills three nine year old kids and three staff members at Nashville, private Christian school. After writing a manifesto and drawing maps of the church campus. Why the hell can't we protect our kids? Because, look, the White House came out today. And do you know what the White House said? Uh, did you hear Biden's uh, opening response? I didn't hear Biden's, but I heard what what's her name said. She, ba- They basically blamed the Republicans for not banning assault rifles. Am I mistaken <clears throat> that the president had both the House and the Senate for two years? You, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so why could he not pass ban on assault rifles if he wanted to? Because they don't want to. No, I mean, they, I don't, they don't I don't, want to keep blaming people. I don't want them to either, but don't get me wrong. But, I mean, that, it's it's just a scapegoat. Yeah, none but of Biden, that does any good. No, Biden's opening, opening <clears throat> statement coming to the uh, press conference about the shooting was, hello, I'm Jill Biden's husband, Joe Biden, I love ice cream. You're, you're no, I'm not, that Dude, occurred today. That occurred today. Right, if I can really find what, it, we're going to play it, and we'll play yeah, it on that. I mean, that was stunning. That's, that's really what he said yep. before talking about a school shooting? Yep. Joe Biden... You going to look it up? Yeah, keep okay. talking. Okay, so I'll yeah. look it up. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually what he said. All right, so yeah. I'm way out of touch with American news, right? Well, don't don't feel bad. Biden's out of touch, too. Because <clears throat> I was more concerned of the things going on around well, me. Well, you had a lot going on around While yourself. I was in the, in the yeah. Middle East, right? Um, but so for let him me, to, let me, for let him me to say you. that in a – I what? mean, I know I don't believe the guy's in a, his right state of mind, but to say that in and, light and of the things going I, I, on. And the thing was, it sounded like he said it in jest – well, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah, that's not a joking <laughs> moment. No, not at all. I mean, hell, even George Bush looked better uh, when he kept reading the book after 9-11. I mean, that looked more put together. Well, than, heck, maybe he took a minute to process his thoughts. Uh, exactly. You know? <clears throat> um, well, well, let me ask you this. D- did you get a sense of what, being in Jordan, what the people in that area thought of our leadership? Oh, yeah. 
They, I'm they, curious. I mean, I'll be straight up with you. They think uh, the current leadership is, is just morons, and they hate what, honestly, those people over there hate what is going on in America right now because it makes them more vulnerable, right? Jordan's a pretty liberal Middle yeah. Eastern country. Yes, that? for sure. They're from Middle Eastern. Or progressive, country. would you yeah, say? Yeah, could probably call it more no, progressive. I mean, they're... Compar- they're <laughs> look, compared to... Well... <laughs> they'd be very conservative here in the States, but compared to... Uh, well, they're, other they're pretty regions. accepting of other people, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm not finding that right now, James. If it comes up late, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get back to it. But but here's the deal. No, but they, right? they laugh at our administration. <laughs> Look, that's that's, that's uh, something us the Jordanians. Even the left must laugh. At that's our, something us the Jordanians have uh, in common, huh? Yeah, yeah, they have to. So uh, uh, back to the shooting. Yeah, back to the shooting. So this twenty-eight-year-old girl, and I don't, let me see if they have something about the manifesto here. But uh, and, and the police. This is unlike you, Valdi. The police responded very well. It was ten uh, ten thirteen. She opened fire at the school, uh, killing nine-year-old. They've they've released these kids' name. I'm not going to do it. Um, substitute teacher, uh, sixty-one year old. All the other the, the uh, adults were in their sixties. Um, sub. And within a minute, they'd called nine one one, and I think within thirteen minutes or something like that, the uh, police had downed the assailant. That's yeah, so that's a hell of a response yeah, time. It fat. was fourteen minutes that's from the fat time fat. she opened fire till time she was downed. So this is uh this is actually a school in Franklin and not Nashville, right? It says Nashville. I hadn't seen anything to say Franklin, but okay. it, but it's all I mean, it's all the it, same thing. It well, might be it runs into each other. Yeah. It could be, but it, it oh. references. Yeah, th- uh, those that don't know, Franklin is slightly south of uh, Nashville, but I mean it's 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 thirty a, minutes away. Yeah, so it's kind of like Memphis and Germantown. Yeah, yeah kind of like an up, upscale suburb. Yes, of the yes. Area. But um, yeah, well, so you know there'll be this call from the left to ban assault rifles. There'll be. Uh, any guns, any knives, whatever. We're going to blame the guns. We're not going to blame the people. But isn't this twice this year we've had a trans individual uh, do a shooting? There like was this? one more. I, I thought it was uh, last year, though. At the was uh, it late last year? At the in Colorado, yeah, Colorado Springs, yes. I believe it was. Uh, yeah, that was late last year. But they said the response from the left on that one was, "It, I hate to say it, like I'm insulting the party. Well, tell with them, they're, they're murderers anyway. It made a." Uh, it never said it was trans. It said it was non-binary or f- gender fluid. Or a shapeshifter. And so by saying it's gender fluid, it alleviates, oh, it really wasn't a trans person that did it. Yeah, this school apparently based on a map just a couple of blocks from downtown. So will anything be brought Ooh. up about mental health? Well, but and see, it that's where I was be. headed. It, it should, should be. should be. Right. It, it should almost be. has to be. The... the I, I still not so sure. Or I, I feel confident that everybody gets a trophy. It's part of the reason all these people don't know how to deal with failure. People aren't taught how to fail. Uh, they, if they, there's something going on in the world that they're not taught how to deal with lack of success or not succeeding at something, um, and it translates to people doing these strange things. Uh, the, over the coming days, they'll release a manifesto, and I'm sure it'll have something to do. With when she was a kid, she felt like she was a boy, but they made her act as a girl. I mean, I would be willing to bet you that that comes out here, and that's why. Yeah, she but, went but back. that's not a failure thing, that uh, or a <coughs> success or failure thing. To me, that is you. Every the younger generations feel that they have to be validated to be special, and that's not the case. People aren't special. <laughs> no, people. Don't special aren't people special. are special, yeah. but I mean, that's, there's it's called special for a reason. When you uh when you get more mature and you grow up, you realize you're just normal and part of man. We're life. A, we are cogs in a wheel. You're not special. I mean, and every cog can be replaced some way. Shape absolutely. Or I, I take that back. You're special to certain people. Yes, you're not special that's the to world, the though. whole. Yeah. Man, I used to work for a guy. He always told me. Uh, he always said, uh, "I can replace any monkey in the circus." And by God, he meant it. He. Well, this is fresh. I'm sure we're going to end up back on it at some point in the coming days as more and more news comes out. But look, people, we got to do better. we got to get out of here. If you know people struggling, get them some help. Get them some mental help. It, it, it's okay. Take them to church. We need more church in these folks. We need more church in these folks. I guess. Look, they're going to somehow turn us around to Christians. You know I that. Oh, I, I've already saw some uh, somebody uh, post. <clears throat> well, I'm sure she went back to uh, 
to attack somebody who uh, sexually assaulted her. Well, that's extremely. That's extreme. Like, yeah, you have no idea. That's a hell of a statement to throw out there. But, but it's going to be out there. But that'll make its rounds. That'll be on TikTok mm-hmm. and go yep. somebody go, this person sexually assaulted this person that ended up in these people. Dead. Yeah, and I'll tell you right now, regardless if you're religious or a Christian or what, I mean, even Judaism or uh, Islam, morality, religion gives you morality. So I wouldn't say this if the buddy that I have wasn't well studied and he doesn't post things that he doesn't verify. Um, you talking so, about me, right? No. <laughs> So yeah, I have a yeah, buddy. Post, I'm, I'm not gonna. Anything. I'm not gonna name the guy, but he did. He posted a bunch of screenshots from like her mom and where she was. Hey, we need to ban um, high capacity assault rifles. We need to ban this and that. The shooter's but, mom. Yeah, but then her own child goes out and shoots people with assault rifles. Well, I mean, obviously, so, the the family yeah. is a it's just liberal. Like, yeah, they're, they're apparently liberal. liberals. There's some irony there when yeah. a liberal family taking up guns and being transgender and going and shooting up a place. I would like to know what, what uh, firearm she she had because... Oh, it, it's here. Look, I she don't, had the AR, two AR-15s and a couple of handguns. I don't care okay. if you're transgender, if you're a straight person, if you're a gay person, if you're shooting up a school where you're you have sick, evil person. preschool to sixth graders. There's something mentally wrong evil. with you. Evil person. It's evil. You're it's mentally the devil. unstable. I don't care if you're a war veteran. I don't care what you are. If you're doing yeah, that there's no, there's thing, no, there's, there's something zero mentally for off for you. Yes. Yeah. Yep. If that's not the devil. All right. We've been. T- we'll be back on at some point. But what do we know about this superbug spreading across the U.S.? Look, we talked about that day. The oh, what last kind of superbug is, is, is a fungus? It's a fungus. It's a fungus. It's a fungus among us. Kind of like The Last of Us. Ah. Yep. There's two type of super bu- bugs known as, or a type of super bug known as Candida auris. Okay, and you, pick, you pick it up from being uh, long-term uh, stays in the hospital and nursing homes. All right, well, look at this. I'm like three episodes behind on The Last of, yeah, me the too. Last of Us, so don't, too. nobody tell Actually, me Actually, Jamie happens. started before, later than me, and I think he finished already. No, I, I finished yet. But dude, I, I, yeah. love it. So, I love it. So this thing is uh, almost a 60% death rate. Yeah, now, now look, if yeah. this thing starts to take steam, yeah, this yeah. is the type of it's thing. It's been found you, over uh, half the country. This is the thing that could <laughs> lead to shutdowns. To and at 60% death rate, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty wild. But we're going to keep an eye on it. We'll keep you informed. But look out for the super fungus that is among us. So you said nursing homes, right? That nurse, it, it's, it's really uh, thriving in hospitals. So look, you go see a loved one in the hospital, Wash your damn hands. Use the shit on the it walls. It doesn't change because COVID's not around anymore. Yeah, use the shit on the walls. There's still sick people all in that thing. That's just nasty, man. Uh, I mean, Wash your buttholes. You get pink well, eye. I wouldn't or you'll it. get pink eye. I wouldn't do that at the hospital. I'd want you to get home. But, yes, I mean, use the, use the shit on the phone. Use it. All right. Staff say, I mean, for <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about something else that'll make you angry. China supporting Russia. China's been caught sending weapons and armor to Russia. Does that surprise anybody? And, and, you know, furthermore, there's countries all over the world that are throwing their support towards Russia right now. But is it fair oh, to be wow. mad? Hmm? You it, know, I had the same thought. Dude, I maybe. just don't think it's fair to be mad at countries that you're in conflict with <laughs> helping other countries. Well, well, well but we're, we're supposedly helping, not in conflict yeah, we're not with China. Conflict no, with no, we are. We're helping Ukraine, right? So why are we mad that well, someone that well, supports well, I mean, us we're not, I mean, we're not in conflict. That was my exact thought. Like, how, how can, can we be, be angry? Off? That China's going to support Russia when we're supporting the Ukraine. Listen, Look, if it went for us, Ukraine would have been done with. I'm sorry. I Look, don't care how you South twist Africa, it. Kenya, uh, countries all over the world are now openly backing Russia. Yeah, let, we'll talk about that in a second. I want to talk about that when we talk about BRICS countries, but I want to talk specifically about Getting that. weird. The weapons and armor in question include rocket launchers, and tank missiles, other military hardware. The article notes that the shipments were intercepted by authorities in several countries including South Korea uh, Japan, and Japan. The article suggests that China's decision to send weapons may be part of a broader effort to strengthen ties between the two countries. I actually why, saw another article. Why were they there. confiscated in Japan? And I mean, China and Russia border each other. I don't know. Why not just... So all the people that I, I talked with over there, they were all in a buzz about all of this stuff, right? Like the... Um, Basically saying, hey, it won't be long. You guys will be at war. <laughs> yeah, they're like, good luck, fellas. I need a yeah. duh, 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 duh. But, y- yeah, uh, 
I don't know how we can avoid it because apparently, you know, the, the the main point of all this though is that China is violating the sanctions that the U.S. imposed and yeah, European yeah, Union. That's fine. I mean, imposed it, on Russia, and they expect everyone globally to follow suit. We, with the leadership we have, um, weak leadership. Yeah, brings, brings I hate to war. make it sound like we're we're supporting China and Russia, but I mean, we can't impose sanctions on other countries. It doesn't work that way. That's get, like being mad if you get in a fight with somebody and they punch you back in the face, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, Donald Trump came out and he was basically <laughs> saying that when when he gets back in the White House, this will not happen. China will be put in their place. We'll see. Maybe too damn late. I think that bell's probably already been rung. So not only is China helping Russia, have you heard about Russia threatens the U.S. with a unique weapon, quote, unquote, capable of destroying the entire U.S.? TikTok. The weapon in question is a hypersonic missile known as Avant Garde. Oh, actually, I've seen it, yes. You have heard that. Yeah. That's going to blow up the whole U.S. It's tra- <laughs> capable of traveling at speeds up to Mach 27. Holy shit. I ain't buying I don't believe it. <laughs> and it's said to be virtually unstoppable. Wow. Look, I saw what uh, Mach 8 did to uh, Tom Cruise in, uh, in the new uh, Maverick movie, so Mach 22 must be awesome. It's straight in his tooth. Mach 27? <laughs> what you talking about? Mach 27, excuse me. Yeah, that's probably like almost light speed, huh? That's all. <laughs> that's I'm fast. Sure. I've never that's even heard that in a movie. Somebody before. needs to do Mach the math 27. on that one. That's fast. Yeah, somebody do the math and drop it in our uh, what? drop it down below. Oh yeah, back out and hit the like button too. Y'all come like it. Look, our YouTube with our last Blattens versus Bowman's, which was actually not not very good from a quality standpoint, is actually doing really well. So go out and watch that. Leave a few comments. We actually have three comments, Jamie. I oh, do we? I yeah. hadn't seen a whole lot of that because the the service over there is not great. But Marty been taking care of y'all apparently. Well, we we, we uh, yeah. My wife told me we Marty, had to quit drinking his bourbon. My boy so, Marty been taking care of y'all. He probably had his shoes off. So Jamie, Jamie and I took him uh, took him a bottle that night. I took a bottle of Bowden Monkey Shoulder. You took him. Uh, what'd you take? Bo, actually, what what Donnie's drinking? Uh, Bo and uh, what's that called? Arrow and Bo, Bo and. <laughs> Blade and Bow. That's it. Blade and Bow. Yeah, so, so uh, we'll have that on Friday night. Blade and Bow and Monkey Shoulder. And we drink something else, too. I don't remember what So a secret thing about Mortimer. I think that's what y'all been calling him, right? Yep, Mortimer. That's what we call him, been him for years. So, well, I know. So I figure that's what we're calling him. When uh, Marty plays golf and he gets a little intoxicated, he starts playing really good and his shoes come off. When all his right. shoes come off, we know good things are going to happen on bare, the golf course. Barefoot golf. <coughs> We're uh, all going to have fun. I'm trying to figure out what uh, – this thing has like a, a mathematical equation. So that this is – well, For I Mach 27? For Mach 1. Just, oh, okay. Uh, just a Mach, it depends on the air temperature and – Oh, a lot of different things. Huh? So fast, real fast. I was waiting for you to tell me. Hey, was I, I, I didn't get here. Hey, we're probably okay, though. With global warming, they may not even be able to shoot the dang thing. You're else. right. You know what? It was slowing yeah. down. So they've now threatened us with a, a, a submarine that can cause a tidal wave, right? I that heard that with the coast. Basically, not hey, California and the but, whole West Coast. But, but listen, I'm, Hold on. I don't doubt take, that one. They're going to take care of that for us? Uh, d- d- yes. Woo. Uh, now they got a hypersonic missile. I think they talked about this missile hitting Yellowstone Caldera. Oh, and yeah, and then they're the, going to uh, set off the yeah. ultimate uh, volcanic explosion. Uh, roughly one Mach is 741 miles per hour. So multiply that I'm times 27. A little it's math. probably exponential. So what all do y'all think China buys from us that keeps them alive? Food. That's 20,000 okay, so miles. If they, come, if they come over here and they blow everything up and they destroy our economy, well, the, well, the, st- hi- the hypersonic. Okay, but hold on. Are they the hypersonic starve? won't matter. Well, but that's why the Ukraine is so important. It the is. Ukraine is a huge source. Okay, of food, who said who source. who said this at the beginning of the Ukraine thing? It's it's the bread basket over it's the there, bread right? Basket. And uh, and Ger- and uh, Russia, 20,000 20, miles an hour. Taiwan could wow. Oh, that's it. Wow, that's it. Jamie said he could run that fast. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> actually, he probably. It, could. it depends on the. You uh, could outrun the. It depends uh, on the air on, temperature. It depends on the weather. It depends on the air temperature. <laughs> and if uh, a female could run that fast, right? Are you going to allow trans males in your competition, which we're going to Absolutely do this Absolutely not. I was going to say identify. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. Have you guys, I'm going to talk about Bricks for a minute. You guys familiar with Bricks? I am. Yes, sir. I am. Bricks is the new world energy order hedging in oil geopolitics. So uh, right off the gate, Bricks is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. 
So you were staring blankly, and you were remembering. Boy, you hit that on the head. I that's thought y'all right. were talking about yeah. El Chapo bricks. <laughs> no, so, that, that's what's going to make it But rich. along with this, Egypt has joined. Argentina is about to join. I think there's five new countries. Iran is joining. I mean, this is turning to the new Warsaw Pact. Can we enjoy? Can we join? Yeah, I want to join. Look, like, like I said, this is what terrifies me. This is this is one of the it's, biggest. It's going to potentially to the United States. Yes, it'll potentially it is unstable be, the dollar. So yeah, it could crush the dollar. Bricks. Um, the the are. Blah, 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 blah. So it, it's potentially going to crush the dollar. Yeah. Okay. So collectively, they account for a significant portion of global oil demand and supply, making the key players in the energy market. So we've talked about a little bit before, and uh, is it Bread and Works? What is that called? Isn't it I, about I time we it. open our own pipelines and start using our own oil? Well, well, yes, but it's, uh, there's know? more to it. At this point, there's more to it. So those that don't know, we currently on the petrodollar system. Yes. Where I don't know how this got hooked up. It was great for the U.S., but every every gallon of oil that was purchased. And they use the dollar as the standard. Yes. So the Bretton the Woods Agreement was negotiated in 1944 in Bretton Woods, New York, by delegates from 44 countries uh, at the United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference held in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Under the system, gold was the basis for the U.S. dollar, and other currency, currencies were pegged to the U.S. dollar's value. But then... In 1970, Richard Nixon took us off the gold standard, and that's when all of our financial, our uh, money processes and money system changed substantially. But we've remained on this uh, using the U.S. dollar to settle all oil transactions since that point in time in 1944. And basically they're wanting to change to a, a new... To the Chinese uh, yes. Yuan yeah. is what they really want to change it to. The, the push is to change it to either the go- to gold uh, or the... Chinese yuan. And so what's, when that happens, what's Chinese? What's their money backed on? What backs their? I money? think they're gold. I think they're backed on gold. Are they? Not, I'm not so sure they are. Do they not have a worse economy than we do at this point? They they have every country practically in the globe owes China money, including the U.S. They also but they're backed on our on our debt. But they also owe us. It's a really weird thing, right? I don't know if they owe us. If they owe us, it, it, Google it. People do not believe that uh, the Chinese dollar is yuan is backed with gold. They don't. They don't, they don't think there's any way. Well, I'll say this one thing too. Uh, with them being a communist country, it's easy for them to hide their finances. What was that Google? You got to tell me Google something. Oh, if uh, if China if China um, if we if China owes us money. Oh yeah. But the the, the concern there's several concerns, but if this goes through and it's going to go through. It will destabilize the dollar. The value of the dollar will drop in power. Okay, so as of October 2021, China owns $1.065 trillion, or about 3.68% of the national debt. So they don't own a lot. China uh, owes the U.S. money in two ways, by holding U.S. No, Treasury securities and by defaulting on historical debt. Yeah, so... We all I, owe each other money. Actually, I think the U.S. actually That's owes the U.S., and we're borrowing from the future is yes. actually the way it works. Because we're or issuing bonds. It's, so it's credit, we're right? Money. We're buying on time. Yeah. We're doing what? Well, we're printing money. And this is the reason they want to separate themselves from the U.S. dollar. Because if you think back. The dollar's getting unstable. We're doing what people do with credit cards. Yes. And in 2008, the whole global crisis was due to people having poor buying debt that consisted of poor ma- uh, mortgages that should have never been issued in the first place. And that caused the entire, entire global market to crash. And we're about there again. And it's for, because of the U.S. It's because of the U.S. primarily. But if this does switch, hyperinflation will be at a level like we've never seen. If you think eggs are expensive now. I mean, they're saying it could be wait. 30% uh, inc- uh, inflation. I mean, that's, we're, we're at 11% right you now. You know what happens at 30%? A complete crash. No, it's a, it's a crisis. Places shut down. Yeah, Companies I mean, shut down because there's yeah. nobody has money that can't I mean, afford anything. Food, p- people who score, people scares. who are living, not even paycheck to paycheck. People who are surviving are no are, longer surviving. Yeah, no longer surviving. Yeah, now this is scary. This is the type of thing that can destroy the United States. And you know what? We're more worried right now about the sex of our seven-year-old child than we are about this type of stuff. We're more worried about what's going on in Ukraine 
than we are about feeding our homeless people here in the U.S. or turning on our pipelines, turning on the oil here so that people can make a fair wage. Look, I don't know about everybody else, but I was better off two years ago. A lot better off oh, two man, years ago. Oh, man, we all were. I remember sitting outside talking about crypto, yeah, you know, baby. Well, I mean, crypto, yeah, maybe it's not the best thing. Maybe they're snuffing it but for a reason. I don't really know, but we were all... We were, all, we were all playing the stock market no, two years ago. Stock so market, the, so the You thing, were a day trader. Both of y'all was day traders. <laughs> yeah. Got banned well, for a short I, We did time. get banned. We day yeah, traded. That's right. So the thing was, at that time, though, you had spare money. You <laughs> you know, if you went out and you spent a couple hundred bucks and you did some little risk here and there, So it, so it what do y'all, what do y'all deal, paying right? at the grocery store th- 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 these days? Too much? I mean, I, I know today Ginger went to the grocery store, 300 bucks. Ours was 180 so we go out of town again this this weekend right on Thursday. So we well, you just can't stay home, can you? No, we also book flight tickets, ma'am. I yeah, I'm telling you, it's I, it's oh. rough because essentially this year for our family who plays the sports with the inflation and all the different things that are going on, food costs when you're out, all the gas costs, all those things. We've taken the equivalent of four or five vacation this year. So we went and we bought enough food just to make it to the weekend, right? Yeah, that's, we what, that's what we'll do. We'll and and some of it's sustainable, right? We're almost no. 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's so, absolutely insane. So we go to the grocery store every week. Then we go, we go week to week. We'll sit down on Sunday. We'll plan our meals. We'll plan out where we're going to be. It's almost cheaper to eat out. Well, I don't know about no, that. Have you been, how much it costs Fort Bray Nation at McDonald's? Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, we went to uh, okay, local Mexican re- We went to local Mexican restaurant. It was a $100 bill. And I got one beer. Uh, the three of us went yesterday after lunch. This is drinking water, no cheese dip, fifty bucks. So we've been a hundred dollar bill for a long time, but today this is no, <laughs> this is no joke. And I, I normally I am not rich. Don't get me wrong, but normally if I go like to a drive through somewhere, rich people say. That's no, no, rich no, 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 no. I'm not rich. Can't but I don't go and pay attention to. Price crack. Like the nope. four for fours or the... No, yeah, like when we said that time, I never paid If I go to the price. grocery store and I want, it, I want it, I put it in the basket, I go buy it, right? I'm not rich. So we went to McDonald's. Three large fries <laughs> and a Diet Coke. I did not Ten listen. Ten bucks? No, I did not listen to what the lady said. I handed her my card. She paid for, you know, whatever. Oh, that's probably $15. Seat. So I got back and set it down. It was like fourteen for, eighty something You didn't get for, burgers. No, three large fries and a Diet Coke. Only because my wife said... I gotta eat something right that like now, right? But you would think that getting fries would be the cheap way out, dude. I think you could have got, got a four three for four. large. You could have got three one, four for fours. One diet coke. You could have got three four for fours and been cheaper than that. Isn't I was getting crazy? a honey bun this morning I, at the little Debbie section. Little Debbie's yeah. the cheap honey buns. As I'm standing, this guy walks up angrily, breaks in front of me, and throws a honey bun in the box. He said. He looks at me. He says, "This son of a bitch right here was two seventy nine for the uh, the little Debbie." <laughs> I was like, "Hell no!" That's supposed to be two for a dollar. Exactly. <laughs> so you know what I did? I bought my monster that was three dollars and walked out. Monster wow. stayed the same. Monster the same price. Monster yeah. was already inflated. So look, you can either get seven honey buns or like almost a thirty pack of Bush lattes. So yeah. <laughs> so crazy. look, we're gonna have to start living off beer. It's got. It's, I mean, it's got I'm yeah. gonna start living off air. Hey, I think car, there's plenty of calories in there. Carb up, people live off beer. All right, we're gonna do some quick takes. It's been a while. The DW hadn't had been around for any quick yeah, takes. Yeah, here we go. Takes. Y'all ready for some quick takes? Let's get some funny ones. Michelangelo's David statue uh, was banned for being pornography. Have you heard about and this? Get out of here! Where yeah, at? in Florida, um, <laughs> at a Florida school, a teacher showed students pictures of Michelangelo's David sculpture, sculpture, which features a nude male figure with a very how, small. How, how I was going to say you, you can you can barely sixth see graders, it. Sixth graders, the uh, parents were outraged by the display and argued that it was inappropriate for children to view such images. Okay, I'll say this: I would, I probably wouldn't appreciate my sixth sixth grader seeing it. Uh, seventh grade, I think, is cool. I mean, I, I realize we're splitting hairs here. Pubic hairs. Pubic hairs, mm. which hit a bunch of. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Womp, womp, womp. I mean, I what, what's, your, what's your take? You think? I, I know it's art, but I also. It is not provocative. No, it's not provocative. Not provocative at all. It's not. It's, um, 
you probably see more in a Rick, a Rick and Morty cartoon or if you go to Disney. No, Rick and Morty blurs it out. Oh, that right. But but most of the cartoons, but in this world, and I understand of the sexualization of children, we don't want to do that. But, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that Look, one for maybe, sixth graders. Maybe sixth grade is too young to be showing any kind of penis and balls. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. that's yeah. What, I mean, You know, but it... I, seventh grade, I, I, I realize we're talking a, a three-month difference. But, maybe it's a high school thing, but they hear more about... Oh, yeah, I mean, they know about yeah. it, but I mean... You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't know. All right. Um, do, have you guys ever heard of digital blackface? Now, this one's out there. <laughs> digital blackface. Uh, it refers to non-black people using images or gifts of black people to express emotions or reactions on social media. So when I first saw this, I thought it like meant, a gift. I thought, yeah. When oh, I first I'm saw a, this, a I thought there must have been some weird racist filter. Yeah, like that, I put a, a filter yeah, on my face. Yeah, that put a filter on your face to make you black. No. So, so, like, I can't use the guy from Key and Pill? No, you can't sweat. use you uh, you being ultra white. Like, like, my, like my favorite meme is the uh, picture of the black guy looking from behind a tree. That is my favorite meme, and I can't yeah, use no, it. No, you can't never use that again. It's, it's a good meme for lots <laughs> of things. That, and, I, and I always use the one with the uh, black guy like, do it like this. like this. Or the kid, the little chubby kid that. Uh, yeah, I don't use that So you lot, think you're going to. Or, 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 I'm a big meme user, but yeah. Oh, hey, the, the chubby kid got an NIL deal. Really? really? Yeah. Good so for him. He plays. Um, I want to say it's basketball for a smaller company. Really? He got a, yeah, he because got a, of his meme? Yeah, he got an NIL deal. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm going to look that up. We'll follow awesome. up on that story. But, I mean, are we really to the point where you know what? you're not even allowed to use? They ain't, go, they ain't go to hell. Don't tell me what I can't do digitally. I mean, th- that is not the same as pretending to be a black person put on. It says that uh, activists argue that digital blackface can be harmful and reinforces harmful stereotypes about about black people. It's a white person that's angry about it. Most I'm likely sh- a white female from the suburbs who average income is over three hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, uh, I mean, really, I mean, it, 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 I don't you know, know why we can't just have fun. Because other normal people, whether you're white or black or Asian or Mexican or whatever, you're not that soft. I honestly <laughs> just not. I honestly don't know that I even pay attention. I, I'll scan for some funny meme to send to somebody, and I'm like, okay, that looks cool. I, 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 look, you're right, the dude behind the tree. I mean, that's that a is great a great meme. meme. It's a great meme. I use it all the time. Yeah. it's You know what? Stop being so sensitive sensitive all right so kim jong-un did you hear about what's going on in north korea you got it is he is he using digital blackface he probably created it he probably <laughs> has like he probably uses digital white face he's, 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 like, like, he's so, like a one of three people they let use the internet over there yeah, check he this. has excellent wi-fi he doesn't need it Nobody it just comes to his head on. he just has no yeah, yeah. Head. soldier loses 653 bullets <laughs> and he puts the entire city on lockdown till <laughs> all 653 bullets are found the what he so a soldier i guess you check in your ammunition he lost 653 bullets and I'm sure somebody miscounted. He put the entire city of uh, several million people, I guess, on lockdown for several Until days while they searched for every round in this city. Is this domestic or foreign? Kim, North Korea. Kim Jong Un, oh, yeah, yeah. North Korea. <laughs> Definitely foreign. Oh my gosh. He's, he's lucky they didn't like hang that, up by hey, his toenails and pluck. How far? Him. How far are we from missing the U.S. If we ban salt rifles next, and then. Well, they want to ban shotguns in New York. <laughs> they ban them, but they ain't getting them all back. <laughs> I'll give them back to them one at a time. <laughs> yeah. You're not talking about the guns. No, I ain't talking about the guns. You, um, edit, you might want to edit that. Too. See, no, there's a lot about – no, there's nothing to edit there. Um, you know, there's all this talk about TikTok. I'll touch on it in a minute. But Mississippi woman arrested for killing her husband on Facebook. Did he happen to be a Louisiana man? Mississippi um, woman, Louisiana <laughs> I think they loved each other. I don't think they killed each other. It began as a domestic dispute with the woman brandishing a gun and threatening her husband before the shooting took place. The woman was arrested and charged with murder, and it was all on Facebook Live. Why you she, she'll plead not guilty. Look here, guys. If you want to murder somebody, you don't need to go on Facebook Live. <laughs> I guess you always be Facebook famous. People are dumb, dude. She, she should go on TikTok for that, not Facebook. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah. Speaking of TikTok, you know, there was a big congressional hearing in um, Washington with the, I guess, CEO of TikTok. Is that right? 
And then, of course, after listening to to that fellow talk, there's this push by uh, at least one side of the political aisle to ban TikTok. But Jamie's favorite representative, oh googly eyes herself, oh googly eyes, AOC has gone viral by posting her first TikTok video where uh-huh. she says that banning TikTok is un-American because she wants the TikTok. I was hoping it's gonna be one of those uh, videos of the song "Drop Now." Let me see. <laughs> You could make that probably now that she's out there. That's right. Yeah, yeah, go for it. But um, you know a lot more about TikTok than I do. Yeah, he's practically a TikTok expert. And so do you know you know Waze? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. at one point, some people from Iran owned Waze. I didn't know that. And then eventually, they sold it. And they Google got, maybe they got it now. tons of money off of it, right? But it, there was a lot of uh, speculation about it and the Iranians stealing, basically like mapping out the U.S. with Waze. Well, I'm not so sure it's speculation well, because the TikTok. Well, I mean, could they just go on Waze now and map it? I mean, <laughs> so. You would think, right? You could yeah. just download that. Go to Google Earth. I mean, I couldn't watch Last yeah. of Us on HBO Max. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there used to be a picture of me sitting on the uh, porch drinking beer on Google Earth. Hey, where's Danner? Back at our old apartment on Danner. You're famous. Bro. I'm sure they figured out how to filter out old drunk guys sitting on the porch. Back then. I, I remember that picture. I was sitting watching this drove by. I was like, hey, what's was, that? He was a very young drunk guy when he lived on Danny. That's right. That's another. That's right after he left me. That's right. Another story. <laughs> House Republicans passed the Parents' Bill of Rights what's that? What legislation, which aims to protect parents' rights in matters related to education and child rearing. It would require schools to obtain written consent from parents before teaching certain controversial, controversial topics, such as critical race theory and gender identity. And, of course, this is split right down party lines. It I'm also torn, protects... I'm torn, I'm torn on this. Hold on. It also protects parental rights and medical decision-making, including the right to refuse medical treatment for their children. How far are we away from reassignment surgery, uh, people coming to your home and taking your kids away for reassignment Well, it's, it's here. I mean, not anywhere from... Canada. It's happening. So you mean I mean, there's parent, there's there's fathers that are losing a uh, parental rights. Yep, right there now. Are. So you mean like if your child says they want to be something? And mm-hmm. they, okay. There's a current there, and I I want to say it's in Texas. There's a current case. So yeah, uh, a divorce uh, parents. The mother sued for full custody and eliminated the father's parental rights because he refused to uh, allow his son then, to dress then like a girl. Moved, then moved to California with the kid. In yeah, Texas, on, and the judge ruled cash. in her favor. I ain't it, man. I ain't even going to say what I... I know. Do. Yep. I'm right there with you. I'm just going to keep... Start passing out. stuff out one at a time. Majority of Americans in, in a poll believe it is inappropriate for public school teachers to discuss political views in the classroom. Absolutely. The poll found that 56% of respondents believe it is inappropriate for teachers to express Only their political 56? views. Only 56 while 34% believe it is appropriate. The poll found significant difference in opinion based on political affiliation. Any surprise there? Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm, re- I'm stunned. I figured it should be higher than that. Well, but that's because teachers are typically liberal today. The education system leans that way. So if you're on that side, then you support indoctrination of I, those beliefs at all levels. I'm just really frustrated by where we are and the stupidity and that we have to talk about the things that we have to talk about. It's so dumb. Because... We ought to be talking about Russia, China, and BRICS. Those so, ought to be the three main topics, and Ukraine. So much of it's so just stupid, man. We argue you know what? about so much stupid crap. While you were gone, what did we we talked about this too? And what was it we called first world problems? Mm-hmm. Because I guarantee you, right now, if you live in Uganda or uh, some of those places, or South or Middle Central America, you you're not worried about, about changing the sex of your child. You're worried about food. You're Living. worried about working. I bet in a home. I'm going to venture a guess. That your pronouns and your sexual identity, it definitely is greatened by your wealth. I think it so. does what degrades by your no, wealth? it is, is incorrect. No. The more likely you are to have money, the more likely you are to be worried about your uh, sexual orientation. I, your, I would, I would think that's true. Well, now, I'm not going to say sexual orientation. I'll say your gender and. I know. agree. I think that's probably very fair. Yeah. World Athletics Council bans biological male athletes from competing against females. So uh, that, uh, okay, the new good. rules apply to I events saw that, that, that are the rules classified are good too. as restricted to women or mixed and required athletes to provide proof of their biological sex in order to compete. It, it, if I remember right, it also makes it where 
you can't if you have went through puberty, you cannot compete. So mm-hmm. so think about this, right? So all the conflict in sports with men and women and people that change. So you you can't dope in any way and compete in a sport of your own. And state. dope's very liberal today. It so includes yeah. some things that Yeah, so yeah, I mean over the counter supplements. So mm-hmm. why should you be able to use a different kind of dope that brings you to a different kind of sex and that's acceptable? Well, my stance has always been if you're transgender and you want to compete for fun, compete with a man. If you just want to compete because you want to compete, compete with a man. I listened to a story, and you probably heard this, Jamie, because we probably listened to the same stuff. It was a, um, uh, it was an amateur bi- cyclist, female. She was in the whatever she oh, was running, this, this riding show. this race. She was in the ultra competitive, like the top level. And as she's sprinting home in the finish line, she's sandwiched between two men, and they're, you know, roughing her up. She gets passed last minute and finished fourth. And it's trans third, trans fifth. So she misses her podium spot because of a tra- of a trans man that beat her when she when it comes a woman at least was top three in the race. So, so let's take like a Olympics. Let's say Olympic sports. So if you're a male and you're taking testosterone shots, that's probably going to get you disqualified, right? Yes. But if you're a woman and you're transgender and you're taking testosterone shots because they're necessary for you to become a man, they're going to be allowed? I don't know. I don't I, think I, Olympics you know has addressed yeah. this but yet. But you see what I'm saying, though? Yeah, like no, I'm, I'm dope, with you. It's doping, it, whether you're going back or forward. It, like it's I, I think the best stance is if you're transgender like and you want to compete, you have to compete against the men. Whether you're a male going to female. Or you have a male. special class for it. If yeah. there's really that many, there's special yeah. class. All right, this is pretty. This is going to be a good debate here. And this is going to be a tax debate. If you want to see the transgender Olympics, then watch them, right? And you have people that went one way or the other. But I know they're they're going to say, "Well, we want to be a man or a woman." And I feel that I would way. watch for the same reason you slow down, and look at car wrecks. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It could be a high level competition. All right. Um, tax question for you. OnlyFans creators are claiming boob jobs or work expenses, and they should be able to claim them on their taxes. I don't disagree with that. Technically, yeah. I don't disagree with that. Right here. I agree. I think so. Dang, I thought I expected more discussion <laughs> than that. No, no, no. Cause if you're See, the, Gary would have argued about it. No, if you're in the sexual industry, then that's part of, like, enhancing yeah. your job, right? So if yep. you're if you're pulling uh, trailers for a living and you need a diesel truck, that's enhancing. That's but like you could, you could, you could, you could also stand a reason, though, that any cosmetic surgery could theoretically be work related. I mean, if I had yeah. liposuction, I could move easier. Be easier for me to move around at work. Yeah, I'd be way too sexy with liposuction. Hey, way you could probably sexy. go on OnlyFans yeah, and justify the liposuction. Damn, you could have OnlyFans and, and then you could. How do you know he doesn't? You assume a lot. You assume a lot. Look, if you got OnlyFans, I'll throw twenty bucks at you a month just because you're my boy. Yeah, Come you'll on. be my only customer, my only, my only sign. <laughs> hey, uh, look, I think we're done for tonight. Unless you got some mission <laughs> to talk we're about. Done. We're done. He finishes off, Terry. It's like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> well, it's good having DW back yeah, in the studio. Is. Gary's out uh, chasing the uh, split tail, the round ball around. Oh, he's. Uh, Baseball. We got baseball tonight. Baseball. He'll be back on Wednesday. What kind of parting words you got for us, DW, when your first night back? I haven't heard Marty, Marty Ray in a while. Change me, change me for my Is it important words? I got, I got enough. <laughs> Fortinberry, you always got some wisdom to impart on. Um, hide your kids. I did uh, sport my Marty Ray hat today. I should have wore it. Today. I almost wore mine today too. I sport y'all just doing that because he commented on it. You're right. You ain't coming. Gary's go out, jealous. Hit the uh, like button. Check us out. Our uh, bourbon bourbon. Com- comment. Bourbon taste. Tell us how bad you hate us. We don't care. Just comment. <laughs>